Hi everyone, it's Carol here from the stampingground.co.uk. Thank you for joining me and today's project is this lovely uh, milk carton and the designer series paper is called True Love. The milk carton measures two and a half, two and a half by approximately five and three quarters, which is a lovely side, size for many gifts. We need a piece of designer series paper, eight and a half by 11. And the scoring is on the long side. We're going to score at two and a half, five, seven and a half, and 10. And on the short side, it's two and a half, six, and seven and five eighths. And that's, that's all the scoring there is. So now we need to, oh, it's uh, quite hard to see on this paper. We need to, Fold and burnish all our score lines. Good. It's quite a busy paper, this. I think we've got them all. <laughs> yeah. Right, because because the paper on on both uh, milk cartons are quite busy, I have drawn. Excuse me. I've drawn this out so that you can um, you can see that this is the top of your milk carton. This is where we're going to cut. This is the piece that we're going to cut out. This is the one that we're going to glue. And we're going to score, as you can see on the milk carton, um, we've got a little V in there. We're actually going to uh, score lines so that it, it's actually a nice, neat, uh, finish in there you don't have to do it but it, it does it does look nicer with it so we'll there we are <laughs> we're going to cut away I'll turn it on this side you might be able to see it better I'm going to cut away this square here and then cut up each score line yeah. and then and we need it we need this on the wrong side this oops this panel here we're going to find get the score scoring tool we're going to find the middle which I know, oops, I know is one, one and a quarter. And just make a mark. And from that mark, you need to go down to the first score line. Oops. And then down again. And press on quite quite hard on both. Then you're going to miss a panel. And then on the next panel, again, it's one and a quarter. And then score down. Oh, 
and score down that. And then on the wrong side, we don't want to fold. We just want to, we're not making, uh, we're not kind of burnishing. We're just, we're just pressing gently. It is worth that little extra few minutes to do this though. If you've got um, a lighter paper, you will find it easier. Just because it's uh, there. <clears throat> so we're going to glue this side. And bring this over to meet. And I like to use my bone folder to make sure um, that it's secure. This is the top of the bag, this is the bottom. We're going to fold these two in. I, li I like to, to glue each panel because you do get a nicer and neater finish if you're going to glue both of them. And then the last one. And then if you just go in with your ruler and just give it a, um, a press. And then you can see it will automatically go in to create um, the fold for you. Now, I'm just going to pop a little peg on there to keep it closed. And this is from the same um, set of, seri uh, of the designer series paper. And I'm going to colour it with stamping blends. I'm using both the Dark and Light Magenta Madness, the Dark and Light Old Olive and the Dark Daffodil. I will, I will start off start this off and then I'll whiz through it so you don't have to sit and watch the whole way through. I'm going to use um, the dark one and in the centre you'll, you'll actually see uh, the shade lines so You can see where in between the petals that it would naturally be darker. And then I'll go in with the light.
So now we're going to put some dimensionals on the bike. Now the ribbon, I um, I didn't want to put black on and I didn't have any that would match uh, this magenta madness. So what I did was I took a thin white ribbon and the magenta madness, uh, Sorry, thin white ribbon, the magenta madness, uh, the dark one, uh, the stamping blend, and just pulled it through, and it will colour it on both sides. I do. If I have the matching ribbon, I do like to use it, but I didn't, so. Um, This was kind of the last resort. So I'm going to just wind it round and then and tie a bow. Oops. And there we have it. Just take the peg off, and I think you'll agree that it's quite, um, quite dramatic uh, with the magenta madness and the black and white, and it will look beautiful with any gifting. So until the next time, I hope you've enjoyed it, and we'll try it, and I shall see you very soon. Thank you.